Let's find out if the Be Here Smarto can help you hear better. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Steve Taddy from Hearing Tracker, and as I just mentioned, this video is all about Be Here Smarto. I had the pleasure of reviewing this product over the past few months, and I'm happy to say that it packs quite a punch into a small handheld unit. Now, I'm always excited to do these reviews. One main reason is because I like to put these devices to the test so that you can see, or better yet, hear what they have to offer. So while we'll cover all of Smarto's features, I've also included actual sound samples of Smarto, its processing, and how it functions in different environments. So be sure to stick around so you don't miss those. Also, if you'd like to stay up to date on all of Hearing Tracker's latest content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be Here Smarto is a rechargeable, handheld, or body-worn hearing amplifier. It is designed to improve hearing in conversations, phone calls, and other situations where you may want to stream audio. While this style of device isn't exactly new, I do think Be Here really pushed the boundaries of what I've seen and generally expect from handheld devices like this. It has numerous built-in features, which we'll discuss, and it is relatively affordable for hearing technology. It can be found at local retailers such as Best Buy for less than $200. It is important to note that Smarto is a standalone device. It therefore does not require hearing aids or other technologies to work. However, it can be paired with your smartphone, unlocking several features that we'll talk about. Be Here really seemed to design this device with hearing loss in mind. It provides up to a reported 70 decibels of amplification, which is considerable. And Be Here did this as they wanted it to be useful for those in need of more significant hearing assistance. It also offers many features found in more advanced hearing technologies, such as noise reduction, directional microphones, tailored amplification, and tinnitus sound therapies. So first, what's in the box? You'll find Smarto, the charging cradle, and two different types of headsets, which are your typical super oral headphones and earbuds. Extra headphone covers and various silicone ear tips for the earbuds are included. And this is a nice addition as getting the right tip can improve both comfort and the acoustic seal with earbuds. And this can ultimately amount to better sound quality and even a possible boost in noise reduction capabilities. Now regarding power, the unit has an internal lithium ion rechargeable battery capable of up to 48 hours of use per charge. Less battery life can be expected with audio streaming and high levels of processing. Smarto has a nice feature of being magnetized, which aids proper seating within the charging cradle. It also vibrates when seated properly. The unit takes two to three hours to charge and an LED indicator changes from red to green when it is ready. A USB Type-C port is also present on the bottom of the Smarto unit, so it can be charged directly if you don't have the cradle. While the cable is included in the box, a wall plug will need to be purchased separately, or you'll need to borrow one from another device, such as a tablet or a smartphone. As I've alluded to, Be Here Smarto is equipped with Bluetooth 5.0 and supports several codexes such as low latency aptX. Through this, Smarto can be connected directly with Android and iPhone-based smartphones to control processing, answer calls, and stream audio. Bluetooth connection with the smartphone gives you access to the Be Here app, unlocking many useful features. Easy Listen technology is also available for those interested in using this device for phone calls, and this can slow down speech during mobile conversations, making it easier to follow what's being said. Be Here even included things like a single press emergency call button for those with a history of falls and or limited mobility. Now, if you struggle with TV clarity, Be Here can also connect wirelessly to their Hear Link Plus transmitter. This streams low latency audio directly to your ears through Smarto. While I didn't have access to this transmitter for the review, I've used other low latency aptX devices and they can work wonders for improving TV enjoyment. This topic honestly is worthy of its own video or video series, but if you have any questions about improving TV audio, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to lend some tips. As I mentioned, there are other pocket style amplifiers on the market. However, Be Here really didn't compromise when it came to personalization, and I think this is really what makes Smarto such a powerful device. We all know that hearing is individualized, and even with the most expensive hearing aids, two people may favor completely different settings. 
To better account for this, you have access to a tone adjustment and even the ability to program Smarto based on your hearing. First, let's cover their tone adjustment. Smarto gives you the typical volume knob you'd expect on a TV remote. However, there is also the ability to make broad tonal adjustments where you can boost the bass or treble. For example, this can be used to boost speech clarity, reduce volume of low rumbling noise in an environment, and increase bass presence for music enjoyment. Smarto even stores your settings, so there's no need to constantly fiddle with the adjustment unless it's needed. In my testing, Smarto even appeared to store your tone adjustment for normal and streamed audio separately. Here's a quick example of how the tonal adjustment can influence audio being streamed from my phone. While the bass treble adjustment is nice, you can get much more specific within the Be Here app personalization tab. Here, the unit can be programmed to function more like a conventional hearing device, where audiometric data or hearing thresholds are used to define the device output or gain. The app provides three options for doing this. The easiest way is to choose a hearing profile from a library of common hearing loss configurations. However, a much better option would be to manually enter audiometric data you may have from a hearing care provider. This can be done through their editor and it is quite simple. Lastly, the personal assessment tab allows you to perform a self-guided hearing threshold assessment over headphones. The process takes only a few minutes and test frequencies between 500 and 8,000 Hertz. Whenever possible, I would strongly recommend starting your journey to better hearing by visiting an audiologist that follows best practices. If you do this, you'll know much more about your hearing, what options are available, and I'm not just talking about technology options, and you'll definitely have an accurate, updated hearing test from a calibrated sound booth. And this can definitely optimize your experience with technologies like this. Now let's take a look at noise reduction. We all know that background noise is one of the most common culprits of poor speech understanding, and Smarto offers two common techniques for improving the clarity of your audio. First, sound focus, or Smarto's directional microphone, can be turned on directly from the handheld unit by a large orange button. By default, the device is in an omnidirectional microphone mode, which means it is sensitive to sounds from all directions. Sound focus, or engaging the directional microphone, means Smarto will function more like a flashlight. Smarto will attempt to brighten or clarify whatever you point it at. Now, directional microphones can offer some benefit, and this is why we see them in hearing aids, and they're even becoming more common on other true wireless stereo earbuds. But as we'll hear shortly, it really depends on where the noise is coming from and the environment that you're in. Smarto also offers a digital noise reduction feature, which is accessible through the Be Here app. This relies on a process known as spectral gating, which decreases the volume of frequency ranges dominated by noise. What I really like is that both of these processes can be controlled by you independently, meaning you can really find what works best in any situation. Let's take a moment and play some sound samples so you can hear what their sound focus and digital noise reduction can do. These recordings were made in our lab with a setup that emulated most real world situations. By that, I mean there are multiple talkers and they're not directly in front of you. There's also some background noise coming from all directions. So you can think of this as emulating real world situations, something that you might find in a restaurant, a mall, or a store. One last thing before we hear them, I'd recommend putting on some headphones so that you can hear the sound samples and their differences more accurately. So, what time do you have to be at the airport? Uh, my flight leaves at six. Hmm. So you probably want to get there around four. What were you thinking? Well, I'm thinking we could still go to Julia's beforehand. Wait, you're still trying to squeeze that in today? It's already 12.30. The way I look at it is, you're already packed. 
I don't know. I mean, we're completely different people here. I get way too stressed if I'm not walking through security two hours before my flight leaves. But that's just me, you know? It's your flight. You can try it. Honestly, I'm not too worried about it. My testing indicated that all these features worked and provided some improvement even when you're surrounded by noise. I found the greatest benefits come from engaging their noise reduction alone. And don't forget that these features can be combined with the tone control and other app-based changes. If you'd like more specifics on my findings, please see my full review on Hearing Tracker. Lastly, there are some built-in noise reduction features that are a little more hidden. I honestly only found out about these after speaking with some of Smarto's designers. But their headphones and earbuds include a third microphone. This can be used to analyze sound and minimize handling noise. That way you don't hear loud scratching sounds when you grab or move Smarto. Their engineers also indicated that this can help minimize wind noise should Smarto be used outdoors. Another more hidden feature within Smarto is the Sound Therapy Tinnitus Masker. So if you experience any form of tinnitus, you can present their static-like sound to help mask, cover up, or distract you. The app gives you several options to shape the volume, frequency, bandwidth, modulation, and balance between your ears. Here's an example of what that sounds like. While this feature is nice, it's really only accessible through their app. If you do favor another Tinnitus app, of which there are plenty, you can still stream that audio through your Smarto via Bluetooth. This is another real benefit to starting your journey with a hearing care provider. There are so many things that can be said and done for both hearing loss and tinnitus. So you wanna make sure that you're not missing out on any techniques, therapies, medical issues, lifestyle changes, technologies that can ultimately help you. That about wraps it up for this video. Overall, I found Smarto to be a fantastic handheld or body-worn hearing amplifier. It includes many features I'd expect to find in more advanced hearing technologies, and I found these features to actually help speech clarity. Thanks for watching this video, and if you have questions or comments, please let me see them down below. Devices like this can be used in many different and unique ways, so if you found it to help, feel free to share your experiences too. Lastly, more sound samples and information are available in my full review on Hearing Tracker. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.